I am going to introduce you to the Jayco 31F. It's a 2019, has less than 6,000 miles. I'm going to walk around the RV for you and show you how the outside looks. It is a bunk model. You have all your water holes at the bottom. It has one slide, that's your unleaded fuel. Here's some more storage for all your sewer holes connection. That is your line for your electrical. And you also have It does work off unleaded fuel. This is also a sewer slinky. You can put your sewer in there. It comes with a back window as well as a ladder. And as we walk around it some more with the awning out, that's the full extension of the awning in great shape. This is more under storage. We have stuff underneath it. However, it goes very far back. <coughs> Here's some more storage. The tires, great shape. Again, it has less than 6,000 miles on it. Here's some more storage. This is also your hot water heater. Some more storage. And also your gas tank as well for your propane. So this is ran off propane for your stove. I do believe your hot water heater. You can switch it to electric as well for your hot water heater. You have a full door. You have another access door to the front cab. This also comes with a screen with some black, black, blackout shades. You have an automatic step that comes out automatically. Here's your front. Jumping into the front, you have a step to get in. You have, this has been new, it just put, got put in. It's not even a month old. Um, as well as, you can see the dash in very good shape. Six hundred and eighty-six miles is what we have. Looking up is the cab. Okay, and then looking from the rear, this is with the slides open. And to do a full full view, we're going to come out the door so you can see it. And entering. You have above window. The cab bunk, this is a, about a queen to a full size cab bunk. You have a TV for the entire living. You also have a privacy curtain you have shades up there you also have a full dinette with cup holders and you also have drawers at the bottom of the dinette you have a full outdoor view this also turns into a jackknife bed here's the refrigerator you also have pantry space and a small one down here these are your thermostat you have two thermostats on here two AC conditioners one for the rear bedroom also one for the rear living or the upfront living you have your lights you have your generator control amperage up here. You have your microwave, your propane stove and oven. You have a drawer 
for pots. You have another drawer for under the sink. You have a pop-up extension for a counter. You also have two additional drawers here. And then you have a sink. And then you also have um, cabinet. Space that you can put in. Walking into the bathroom, you have a toilet, you have um, storage, you have a place to hang your towels, mirror, sink, and shower. The shower is a really nice size. Yeah, two people can actually fit in the shower. You have your fan and your light. And we're going into the master. The master is connected to the bathroom, so there's no reason to leave the master bedroom. If you have to go to the bathroom, everything is connected. You have your own privacy with tons of extra additional storage. Two windows to give you more sunlight and more views of different parks that you're, you're at, especially if you're stopping at a rest stop and you wanna see what's going on behind you. This, this window is great as well as this window over here you have your own TV you have your own privacy door which you latch up here from here and you close it and then the light you have your own closet space tons of storage for drawers closet hanging space now comes into the hallway which is our favorite part in this coach is the bunks the bunks have windows it's very hard to find windows for bunks but it's great because it's deep i have a 13 year old son he sleeps in here and he loves it he puts his playstation up there he plays playstation he can shut off this curtain and have his own privacy if he just wants to go to sleep and my daughter sleeps down here she also has her own little privacy where she just wants to read a book or just wants to look at the window if we're stopping out at RV park and look over the water. She has her own TV. Same thing with her own shades as well. It's great for people that have families and it does not just limit you. If you have animals, it's also great. I've seen people turn in the bunk rooms for like dogs uh, where they what they block this off and they put like a cage for smaller dogs. Here's some drawers at the bottom, some drawers at the bottom, and here's the view from the rear of the coach. This coach is a really lovely coach. It's a Really nice coach if you don't want to spend close to 150000 trying to find bucks or space for your family to go on a road trip. It's uh, really nice to be able to accommodate everybody and not spend tons of money. And this is the view from looking from it from the rear. Uh, this does come with stabilizer jacks, which a lot of coaches, some of them don't. That is an option. This is your inverter your generator start and stop. You have, um, there's only 81 hours on the generator. You have one slide and there's your slide. There's your tank heaters, your water pump, your gas and your electric. You also have more storage up here and storage up here. Um, and then lastly, you do have storage, or your, all your, your awnings, your indoor speaker, your electric leveler, your main power, your awning light, and your power step right here as well. You have a fire extinguisher and the view of the cab. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer.